Okay, this continues the last video. We're still working on Jim's rosette piece, and what I'm going to do is check all the pieces that I've made to see if they fit into this template, which is uh, the same size as um, the rosette cavity in Jim's soundboard is going to be. In preparation, I've taken some curly maple and also some zircote, thinned it to precise thicknesses. This is two millimeters and this is one millimeter, and steam bent it. So these form the the outside and inside rings of the rosette. So I'm going to just place these in the template. What I'm trying to do is to see if all the pieces will fit. So those go like so. That's the outside rings. And then here are the inside rings. And of course the outside rings pop out. But when I actually do this on the on the the soundboard, I'll be gluing all these all these pieces in place. Right now I'm just trying to see if they fit. So those are the rings, and now what I have to do is in between the rings put one at a time my my rosette patterns. So this tray here contains all the little rosette pieces. I've pre-selected some of them. We'll start down here at the southern edge, and here goes the first piece. Again, if I was doing this for real rather than just testing to see if they fit, I would um, I would be we would be gluing these in with with fish glue. So there's the first piece of the pattern. Notice how it fits exactly in between the two rings. These pieces have names. That's called delta. Here's the alpha piece, which is the one that goes on the top like so. Now, you see how those fit together? Then I have to take the little center piece, flip it around the right way, That's called Omega, and it goes right in the middle. Do you see? And then Beta slides in like so. It's a fairly delicate operation to get everything to fit properly. And then finally, the end piece, which is Gamma. And there we have a single repetition of the Greek key pattern. The next part of the um, pattern simply repeats those four pieces, so I'll do this quickly so you can see two repetitions. There goes delta. I don't know if you can see on the video, but the bottom corner of delta is just shaved off to accommodate where the corner of the beta piece sticks out. Then the alpha top piece, then the beta, no, not the beta bottom piece, the um, omega center piece. Can you see how the omega center piece is not completely Symmetric, that is to say, the two sides aren't, aren't completely parallel. It tapers very slightly towards the top. That fits right in the middle, like that. Then this piece goes in like so, and then the final piece. Now, Now you can see, maybe a little more clearly, I still have some fine fitting to do, but there, since I squoze them together, you can see the, 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 the repeating pattern. These pieces right now are all proud, meaning they stick up too high, uh, as do the rings. If this were the actual soundboard, I'd glue these all into place, let the glue dry, and then scrape the excess height of all the elements right down to the level of the right down to the level of the soundboard. 
Um, this is one repetition. The total circumference involves 24 repetitions of this pattern, 12 on one side and 12 on the other. So that's how the rosette gets installed. A little tricky, a little time-consuming, but the results are certainly worth it. That's it.